this video, we're going to create code in Google Apps Script that loops through an entire drop down list selection menu. So, what you see here is a preview of what we're going to do today. On this sheet we're currently on called Output, I have an area here that is a financial statement summary for different branch locations and all of the values in these cells are primarily the outputs of VLOOKUP formulas that do a VLOOKUP based on whatever ID number is selected from this drop down menu so when I change it you can see the area over here updates on the second tab called data is where the information is being pulled from based on a VLOOKUP to this first column and then pulling in the different branch information. So when I click this script button that I've created called Run Reports, what this is going to do is go through each item in our drop down list one by one. And during each turn of the loop, it's going to make a values only copy of this sheet and then rename it where the sheet name is the value in this cell here along with a date and timestamp. So I'll go ahead and run that. It's going to make copies of everything. You can see here's our sheet name West Branch with date and timestamp. Same thing for all these other branch locations. So as I said earlier, all of the values in these cells here are all formulas. I think the only one I really need to run through is this one here because it's a little more involved. I have equals and then the word location. That's just text. I use the and symbol to join it to my first VLOOKUP, which pulls in the city. I use another AND symbol to join that to a comma and a space, and then another AND symbol to join it to a second VLOOKUP that pulls in the state abbreviation. All these others are just VLOOKUPs, and the lookup value is always cell H1 that contains the branch ID number. So the next thing we want to do is get into the app script editor window you can do that by going to extensions and app script now to save time I've already created the code here and I'm just gonna run through it so we have a function called loop through list we have a variable called SS that represents the spreadsheet that is equal to the spreadsheet application get active spreadsheet to get the one we're in now we have a variable called sheet that is equal to our spreadsheet variable and then get sheet by name output which that sheet variable holds this sheet you see now that contains the output with all of our formulas we have a variable called cell which is equal to our sheet variable and get range h1 this variable is a reference to this cell containing our drop down selection list we have a variable called drop down list values that holds all of the values in our drop down list. So that's an array variable. It is equal to our cell variable that contains our drop down list and get data validation. We want to get the criteria values. And then after that, we have brackets and a zero. Now, my understanding is you just have to refer to which criteria values list that is now in this case and I think in most cases or if not all it's always going to be one and only so zero in app script is really like the first thing so that's the first and only item in our criteria list values and then we want to get those values. So all of those values from our drop down list are stored in this variable here. We then reference our sheet variable and activate it, which is our output sheet. 
<clears throat> the reason we have to do that is later on in the code, I have this line where we create our new sheets. And in order to do that, we duplicate the active sheet. And the sheet we want to duplicate is our sheet variable, the output sheet. So that's why we need to activate it here. So then we have a for loop and a for loop repeats the same thing over and over again based on a beginning and ending point that you specify. Well, what do we want to repeat? We want to make a copy of our output sheet while we're going through our drop down selection list. So that's why we have a for loop here begins with the keyword for in parentheses we tell it how long we want it to run well we create a variable called I so for each I which represents each list value <coughs> in our list values array variable which that's a two-dimensional array of five rows in our drop-down list by one column. So really the I is going to represent each row. So after that we have a set of brackets that goes all the way down to here. And this is the action we want to perform while this loop is running. So the first thing we want to do is with our cell variable, that's the cell that contains our drop-down list, we want to set the value <coughs> equal to the first element in this first gyration of the loop of the first value in our drop-down list. So since it's a two-dimensional array, the first set of brackets is the row number which that's going to be I, which is our counter, really represents the row in our drop-down list feed values. So that's going to start at the first element, which is 0, and then it goes 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 for all five of those elements. The next set of brackets is our column. Well, there's only one column, column 0, which is the first and only column. So it's going to set the value to the first value of our drop-down. <clears throat> We're then going to create a variable called sheet name that is going to be equal to our output sheet get range C2 get value. So this is going to be the sheet name of the new sheet that gets duplicated. So we want to get the value here. C2, which it's a merge cell, but you only need to refer to the leftmost cell of a merge cell, so that gets the branch name. We're then going to create a variable called temp sheet, which is the new sheet that gets duplicated, so that's equal to our spreadsheet variable. We want to duplicate the active sheet. <clears throat> the active sheet is our output sheet currently. We want to set the name of this duplicated sheet to our sheet name variable we just created plus a date and timestamp. So to format the date and time in a way we want it formatted, we use utilities, format, date. The first input is the date we want formatted. We're going to create a new instance of a date, so that's just keywords new and date. That returns today's date with the time. The required syntax for this second argument is just Greenwich mean time. <clears throat> and then the final input is the format we want it in. We want four digit year, two digit month, two digit day, hours, minutes, seconds. We then have a variable called target range which this is going to be this range here on the duplicated sheet. And the reason we have this variable is 
we're going to copy this range and then paste over it over the exact same range as values and formats only because we don't want the formulas on our copies we want values so we reference our target range we're going to use the copy to method and then the range we want to copy it to is the same exact range and we just want format only as true I'm going to do this same thing one more time this time we want contents only true next we reference our temp sheet and this next line of code gets rid of the drop down list <clears throat> on the copy duplicated sheet because we don't want it there anymore we want to get rid of it so we just reference temp sheet delete columns this is the starting point so I said columns G through I so it starts at column G and goes three columns over deletes those columns finally we have temp sheet get drawings because we also want to delete this script button on the copy sheet so we get drawings if we have multiple drawings you know in this case we only have one but we still have to refer to that number so the count begins at zero so we want to get rid of the first and only drawing on that sheet and then remove it the final line of code we reference our sheet variable and activate it again so that we activate our output sheet because at this point the duplicated sheet will be active and we want to reactivate the sheet that contains our drop down and formulas on it to continue our loop so to add a script button I'm gonna right click on this one and just delete it so you can see <clears throat> how to add a new one in there so I'm gonna go to insert drawings I'm just gonna come up here to shapes draw in a rectangle add some text run reports save and close I am gonna copy the name of my script function come to this little drop down menu here assign script paste that in there click OK so now I'll click run reports you can see all these other duplicated sheets get created there's no script button or drop down list to the right click in these cells here you can see it's all values no formulas well that is all for now thanks for watching